Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but well, that's what we're off, all kind of... It's going to start off as trying to be a Robin Hood run. Yeah, then, <laughs> then you're going to burn down something to um, you know, murder a load of children, something like that. It's not our <sighs> fault they were on our bus. The bus that was ours, it's our bus. Nobody else can get on it. Even though it's got the written school on the front, yeah. Shul. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so oh. seven days since the last run. And. Oh, I always forget to check who's going to get the call. Oh, 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 oh. Out of people over here. <laughs> um, who haven't we heard from? <clears throat> so that makes it month five, week three right now? Uh, week four. Um, so we'll, well, actually, this will be a call in from Leo, who is a King of Ray's forensic expert. Why do you have a forensic expert as a contact? He needs Why would you need to after him? <laughs> Pretty much. So, um. Yeah, he basically says there's you know, a new bounty going up quite soon. Um, it looks like it might be a major thing. Um, some crazed bomber is going to start trying to hit areas in Detroit. Uh, Detroit? Detroit? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Detroit. Denver. There we go. He's uh, blowing shit up in I, Detroit. I want to go join him. <laughs> I, I am sorry. I had my Christmas party last night. I was up a little too late. Um, yeah, he's going to start blowing places up in Denver. Um, so, if you can... are they as planned places? Uh, he's pretty. Sounds like he's going to be a pretty crazy guy. So, it might be. Yeah, maybe, but also it might be on you know other places we actually care about. Okay. Well, some people might care about. I'm not sure if you guys will. Yeah. Um, we yeah. would care if they if he tried to blow up a school because that appears to be our shtick. Bustling in on your territory. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, bounty's coming in at thirty k. Okay. Thirty k. Yeah. Yeah, that's really right. This guy did. This guy it's it's kind of hard to negotiate a bounty. So. Yeah, bounties are pretty fixed. Is this dead or alive? Do they want him alive? Either. And is there, is there a bonus a... for bringing him in alive? No. Or a penalty for bringing him in dead? Nope. All right. That's Sounds like a dead guy coming right up. Yeah. <laughs> so we should probably make sure he's still identifiable when we bring him in. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So that, that means that don't might be him with hard. a fireball. He would be identifiable by DNA. If Keith's they have to use the dental point. records. He would be identifiable by head, and I'll make sure his face is immaculate. <laughs> Nothing well, else separated from his body. <laughs> right. So, so that means that I will aim the acid strike at his feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I'm mean melting. That melting. Yeah, like the Wicked Witch of the West. That's really horrifying, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened to Soul, remember? I know, yeah, it's but still the most change the that is horrifying. Actually, that was body as well. Yeah. Whichever. Anyway, isn't that how you eat jelly babies? Start with the leg first. It depends on the per person. Some people start with the head first. It says a lot about them. Legs first. <laughs> right. Uh, so, do you want a description? Sure. Yeah. That would, would probably help, yes. Yeah. Um, relatively elderly. Um, pushing what race? A human, pushing towards a beast. Uh, long white beard. Seems to be wearing red clothing. So we're going to be beating up another old man. Yep. 
Think <laughs> think about that description again. <laughs> We're beating up Santa Claus. <laughs> yep, yeah, he does he does need to be dressed as Santa. And uh, seeing although it makes this our Christmas special. It's um, in the middle of May, that's bizarre. Yeah, he may be slightly unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Please don't tell me he's a jolly he's a jolly old elf with a very low. Oh, he's human, apparently. He's human. So he's an elf poser. Elf poser. <laughs> oh goodness! He might have magic. After all, how the hell can he get so far so so quickly? He rubs his nose twice, and then you're covered in napalm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He always has that cherry red glow about his cheeks. It might be because of all the fire. He's actually just radiating as an actual radiation. There's a perk for that. Uh, I'm having flashbacks to the um, Haywire perk or whatever it was in 4th edition. There is a adva- see, there's an advantage where if you happen to be in a like a hot zone for radiation, you actually start to extrude radiation Good to job. the point where it will murder everybody around you accidentally. I think that's called being irradiated. No, it, it's actually even Shining worse. One. I think that's it. It might be in one of the other ones. One of the other books. Regardless, we're going to go get St. Nick. Or at least someone dressed as St. Nick. Anyways. There is a slight note saying, please avoid doing this in front of large numbers of children. Oh boy, I can't <laughs> wait to kill Santa Claus. We're going to do it right in front of a, kid, uh, of a school. <laughs> I was actually about to say that. During recess. <laughs> During recess. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to start melting Santa from the ground up. It's 2070. They don't do recess anymore. They didn't do recess in 2012. They don't even do recess in, like back in 2007. You're thinking that public schools are still a thing. It's all corporate. Yeah, they got to have recess. How else would they watch all the adverts? Uh, lunch? Go During ahead. class. Well, they've got to teach them so occasional things. Yeah. Be loyal to message as from our sponsor right before your math class. Oh, yeah, that probably happens. <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah, you give me a description. The jolly fat man. Um, who also seems please, to have Please got- don't kill me, the jolly fat man. That's a bad idea. We're going to end up killing like 13 mall cops or mall uh, Santas, are we? In May. That's going to be quite <laughs> There are people that are just that crazy. Yeah, well, every year Christmas starts a little earlier, doesn't it? By the time we hit 2070 odd, it's going to be starting in but, you know, May. Basically, there's only like three months of the year that isn't Christmas now. Yeah. That's New Year's, Valentine, Easter, and then it's Christmas. <laughs> yes. <sighs> it's Easter. There's like there's only an Easter sometimes. It never falls down on April. Which is, it's we don't celebrate it. Period. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so uh, apparently he's in. Quite a large, in possession of quite a large amount of um, Compound 12, or whatever they call it in this edition. Composition, composition. 12, maybe? Yeah, I hate explosives. Military right, grade so, explosives, um, let's just say that. We're going to steal that, and then we can make buy some minor drones, or make them. Yeah, I can make <laughs> so, uh, we can get some more uh, fly spies. And then just load them up with a whole bunch of explosives and return of the jihad skulls. Oh no, not again. <laughs> It'll make my plans work better. Explosives in general are pretty horrifying. We actually have yeah. to be pretty careful with this. Chunky salsa! Yeah. I did have fun, did have fun though with um, one of my old characters. Because I basically rigged up a couple of my drones of explosives just in, you know, just in case. At one point, my character got captured and the uh, baddies up at the front monologuing with one of my drones in my hand. So basically, <laughs> just turned to the GM and said, right, there's a one in six chance that's got explosives in. Kadunk, six. 
Boom. <laughs> Mid mud <and> log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bug. Bug is a good character. That scratch one major villain. Yeah. Ugh. And his identical brother starts gunning for you. Right. So, how are you going to hunt down the fat man? All right. Fat detectors, come on. Uh, uh, how do Everyone I detect get fat? Uh, God damn it. That's uh, probably up to our decker to search... For any yeah. sightings of the guy. I mean, I can. We don't have to just rely on Deckerman. We can also ask people around. Uh, like it's true. Have you seen a jolly fat man wearing red and has a giant white beard in May? Have you seen Santa in May? Children might be pretty decent to ask, actually, because that wouldn't that wouldn't not catch their yeah. attention. There's probably something floating around the net or matrix, whatever. And I'll talk with people. Have you seen Santa? I do the same amount of success. Eat it. Negotiation. Let's see. Do I have that one? So you're asking around. Mm hmm. To be fair, a Santa in the middle of May would be pretty damn obvious. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. I have one success. Uh, I can't even uh, roll that. How about you just add that success to mine? Uh, you can have my success. success. Yeah, hold up. I can't even I have roll that. Die. <laughs> okay, yeah, four successes instead. That's actually quite good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Although it's technically a negotiation. He does better, though, because he's actually finally rolling good for once. Well, it's a negotiation, which means I'm against it. Well, it's just going to be a normal person, so it's only going to have six dice. Crithunk! <laughs> Still comes pretty damn close. <laughs> what would happen if I given you given him 12 dice, just because I've got oh. that loaded into the buffer? Oh. Well. Okay. That's not actual roll, so it doesn't count. Right. So, no, I think, I think that can be your next 12 die negotiation roll. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> so, there's actually... Someone has actually seen Santa knocking around. Which they thought was pretty damn weird. Um, yeah, apparently they saw the... It wasn't just that, it was a pretty much blings out van. You know, oh, I love this guy. Yeah, he's got the Santa van. Dressed as Santa Claus in a blinged out van? Yeah. He sounds like my kind of dude. Secondary objective, take the van intact. <laughs> Under the some van's not part of the bounty, we can keep it. Yep. I can use it to upgrade. This is something that Any we Any chance do. we know where this van, where he they've seen... This van hanging around, around, and this guy. So, give that a second to load up for you. Yep. Blackbird Park. Um. Yeah, that seems like a good enough place. That was just left over from last week, but yeah, Blackbird Park. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. I hadn't really picked a place. So, in, right. in the you know relatively nice area. That's nice. This just but... blinged out, man. Yeah. We have a picture, by the way, right? It's, I'm coming. It's coming. Well, I, I mean, we know what he, we're looking for in particular by sight, right? Because we have a picture uh, that we can look at and compare. Yeah. I, okay. I don't think you, That's need, all I want you don't to need a picture to, to, to um... rather not have to make memory tests. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, God, I can't um, react to this. Uh, what we need to do is we need to repaint this. We'll have oh. the Santa still there, but we'll, like he'll have a, a, like a really, really harried uh, a muscular bare chest, and he'll be holding a sword, 
and is going to be fighting uh, like a, a dragon with the Grim Reaper riding on it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need a wizard on there somehow too. They will turn him into the wizard. That that text at the bottom is just amazing for a mad bomber. Have you been naughty or nice? <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. <clears throat> yeah. Well, yeah. Mad bomber. Well, all right. So here's what I want to do before we actually confront him, because uh, we can see his the truck is parked somewhere apparently. Uh, I'm not do- sure if I trust it to be this easy. You might want to well, check. I want to. It's the scene do... in this area. You haven't found it parked yet. Oh, okay. So we're still searching. You're still searching, but you have you have the area it was last seen. Okay. Which you know is a hell of a lot better than you did before. Oh wait, I didn't pick up locksmithing. I'm dumb. Yeah, possibly so uh, to... locksmithing. I wouldn't be able to uh, sneak my way into there anyway. Um. Oh, well, yes, I would. I would just slice it open. Yeah, you you can slice it open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not a... It's not a well, it doesn't look like a reinforcer. Even if it is, how many dice roll does he have? Uh, um, 18 base, I'd probably get some bonus for hitting a van. A stationary large target. Yeah. All right. Before we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and roll a matrix perception to see if there's anything nasty waiting for us. Damn. Nice successes. That's pretty darn good. Um. On the matrix, no, it looks pretty clear actually. Just Excellent. Relatively sur- surprising. Incredibly clear. Too clear. Well, it could just mean that Saturn didn't have a net presence. It's a little out yeah. of date. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Santa has awakened beasts, they're reindeer. And I don't know what to do at this point. I mean, I could just ask around again, but that's boring. So you know what I want to do? I want to climb up up top of a building and then kind of like get the the look down from up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll it's Denver, ha- so it's I'll like go and every ask building a- is really tall. I'm about to say, you haven't found the van yet. Yeah. So I'll go and ask Denver, around so again. Okay. okay, it's Denver, so every building is probably really tall, but also really cr- cramped together, so... I just... Damn. Hey! Jesus, <laughs> 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 this is total. <laughs> uh, oh, I can just kill you with these dice rolls, though. You really do! And all of those were sixes. If you had exploding, that'd wreck me. Ray, stop being so good at dice. <laughs> the D6 loves you, the D10 hates you. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. D20 oh, is a bit... <laughs> climbing is a gymnastic skill. Excellent. I'm really good at that. Hmm. So, D20s so are bipolar is what they are. Yeah, D- D20s come and go. So I guess that means our next game will be fine since it doesn't use any of those types of dice. Oh, it'll be complete crap shoot. It uses all of those dice, actually. Yeah, but they're not it's no, numbered up as before, so... Yes. Okay. So, a bit of asking around. You're given a couple of likely locations that people think they've seen a weird van looking like that. And um, Big Truck is just flexing his muscles, apparently. Well, no, I'm climbing <laughs> up a building. Oh, yeah. Or and a tree or something. Up. A building, definitely. It, it, it's going to be taller than... Also, there's, there's oh. going to be no trees around. I'm, I'm hanging out in the truck. True. Why, why did I not find this image? Like, this morning. When I was googling and searching for stuff. Uh, otherwise, Santa would have been a troll. 
Can I can I retro retro fit Santa into a troll? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Santa, Santa's now a troll because I just found the perfect image for him. Oh no. All right. Okay. Do we find him? Um. Well, you've you've got two buildings. Um. One's a warehouse. One's a school. Excellent, excellent. We're already, uh, <clears throat> we're already, just hitting every single note that we have to do. Yep. Warehouse <laughs> and school. That means that we've basically we're quota set for next week. Yeah. Uh, what time is it today? Uh, or what time of day is it? Um. I'll guess it's mid afternoon. Like after school. After school, yeah. Okay. Only people left in there are teachers, probably. And janitors. Oh, yeah. Janitor drones. But remember that not everyone uses drones because people are cheaper. True. You know, drones you have to maintain and repair and all that. The dregs yeah, of society. People don't, require, uh, people don't require skilled hands to build. Yeah. Mm. Warehouse yeah. first, I suppose we'll investigate. There's a warehouse in the Blackburn, well, or near the Blackburn Park. Yep. Oh, well, bird. bird. Keeps saying burn. There's warehouses everywhere. Just assume that there is one. Yeah. Uh, can I navigate the rooftops to get into the warehouse from a top, like a high window or something? Yeah, we can have a go. All right. Yeah, I want to do that so um, I don't go through the front door. Yeah, what do you want me to do for that? This. Um, probably because you're going rooftop to rooftop gymnastics. Can I still all see right. him? Uh, you can't see him at all. Ooh, you just got like Oh, you mean big truck? Big truck, yes. Um, uh, presumably you we... might be able to see him jumping left and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what would happen if I cast improved invisibility on him right now? Uh, he would disappear. That's probably a good freak thing. out and fall as a result of this. But... Technically speaking, I have to be aware and willing, I think, to get hit with that. He can come you before. Isn't it touch to... only? Well, um, you have radio, so. Line of sight. It's line of sight. Huh. The whole idea is I want to make him invisible so that he can sneak in. This is improved invisibility? Improved. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, if you just call me first, and I'll, I'll, I'll say, yeah, yeah. Yo, go ahead. Mm hmm. Roger, Roger. Okay, so I'm going to put. Uh, let's, I'm going to have Force 4. I'm just going to throw it out and here. Me and improved invisibility is going to be me completely impossible to detect in any way if I'm stealth. Oh. Yeah, anyway, here's 16 dice. Nice, nice. Yep. Okay, so and then the 11 to get away from. I take no damage whatsoever. Nice. First time for everything. Anyway, yeah, you're yeah. invisible at rating six. Nice. And you're making right. enough to check, I say, to get yourself onto the roof. Well, you'll find a nice little access vent. Nice. All right, gonna wiggle my way in there. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. All right, no, guys, something to consider. If this guy is a mad bomber and he is here, he probably has traps everywhere. So, not that's wrong. <laughs> no. That's one of the things I think every game should have. Every game should have a sound check and a lock roll. Well, this does have edge. Yeah, it's not quite the same. No. That's more for re-rolls. It's like a fate point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, okay, the game that they made after this, Eclipse Phase, is just Moxie times 10 for that game, and you could probably do the same thing with Edge in this case. Pretty mm. much. Yeah. It's not in a problem, edge. though. You, you easily manage to you know, get yourself in through the roof. And as far as you can tell, just a general warehouse with people like moving stuff around, stacking stuff up. Right, right. No, no evil red guy laughing manically and pointing at his, his elven followers. Uh, 
I didn't Don't actually give me listen. that look, wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed I to didn't. give me a mint pie, then. You deserve every single look you get for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mint pie. <laughs> I didn't pay attention much. We saw the truck outside, or we just... No, this, this, this is one of the seat. places people... The truck's not on the streets. Apparently, Mad Bomb is not stupid enough to park a fancy truck on the, on the streets in there. All right, so... And you say from a gen... Like, a first glance, it just looks like there's normal people in here, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd just like to do a more thorough search, then, because I'm not going to give... <laughs> well, shit looks good. I give up, but nope. See if there's any like hidden areas or the parking lot, maybe. Kind of look around parking lot stuff and I don't know, look into the more right. deep recesses of pain and torment. Yeah, it's a warehouse. Like you get a lot of that there. All right, looks like a warehouse. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, nothing out here looks out of the way. Um, a short decay. Uh, King, a mass King. Explosion. Hey. I'm not King. completely done yet. Oh, I was just going to say, maybe you should hack into the cameras of this area and see if you can find any place where they parked. Why would King of Braves do that? Or Axel, sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to... That's five successes. I'm going to tap a... A random worker, like on the shoulder, still invisible. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Mhm. Mm One second. <laughs> My word to wet himself. Actually, physically wet himself. <laughs> you just That's fine. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. Uh, you see uh, a Santa tr van come in here at all? Mm -hmm. He's kind of on the floor, backing away, squeaking as he goes. Oh, come on, get up. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just. Only the ghost of Christmas for a past. <laughs> I'm, I'm just invisible for reasons right now, okay, buddy? Oh, God, don't blow us up. Don't kill us. That's useful knowledge right there. All right, who, who threatened you? No one's threatened you, but you're obviously a shadow runner. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm trying to prevent the blowing up right now, okay? Oh god, someone has talked in this building. I'm gonna have to warn everyone. We don't know if it's. Talk we just heard that the, his van was last seen here, alright? And we're trying to find where he is so we can take him down. Oh, I've not seen anyone here, but, you know, I've only just caught a shift. <sighs> There's a couple of other people who are kind of looking around, you know. It's like, what's he doing? Why is he, why is he on the floor? What's that pool of liquid? I was really hoping you'd be more useful, but okay. Don't go, don't kill me, I've got a wife. I'm not gonna you. hurt you. Jeez. Don't remember, most people don't run into a shadow, especially not an invisible one. Yeah, I know, it's just... <laughs> it, it's surprisingly easy to run into invisible people. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just pat uh, him on the head and send him on his way. I'm actually looking through my stuff to see if I have like something I can just give him as a way of saying sorry. Hmm. Oh, uh, this is going to sound really dumb, but... Well, compared to anything else I've said tonight. Uh, no, I just I didn't realize I had this still equipped. Um... I'm going to take one of the batteries for my old Vibra sword that I never use. I'm going to uh, just give it to him as a way of saying sorry, I guess. It's just kind of a it's just kind of a general use battery. Whatever. It's something that you could probably find is useful. Okay. Um, he kind of holds it as if he expects it to explode. Sorry for bothering you, buddy. Okay? okay. Get back to work. Will do. Also, clean yourself up. <laughs> I think I may be beyond that. <laughs> Did you bring your brown pants? Is there is there an uh, unsettling smell? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. I know I'm gonna grow, and I'm just gonna gray fox my way out How of here. How would you react if you suddenly tap someone tapped you in the shoulder and you weren't expecting? 
I'd probably punch. Yeah. It's there's people. decidedly but then you turn harder and there's to do. No there. The problem is it's that just, if he punched, yeah. I would have to repost, and then I would just it, it would kill him. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't have to repost. You're not going to take anything from it. Instinct. Uh, yeah, kind of. Anyway, the blood shall flow. <laughs> He just tapped on this poor worker. He turns around and tries to punch you in the face, thinking. So no one notices it, but I'm going to just backflip my backflip my way out of here because I'm great Fox and then (laughs) he's just gonna. "Ah, ah, ah." Oh, I'm invisible. No one can see this. Yep. (laughs) All that effort wasted. It's not really all that effort wasted. I'm really good at it. You know, really good at it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Oh, that is if you critically glitch later, I'm going to remind you of that weight roll you just wasted. Oh, don't worry about it. I will accept any re- and all results of dice. <laughs>